video includes a brief demonstration of how to set up a Google account, and it will also include the basics of creating a Google Doc. I'm recording this video using Tegrity. Tegrity is a course capture tool, which means during this recording, you will see what is on my computer screen while you hear me talking about it. Right now, you should see a Firefox window open to Google.com. Recording videos for your class can help you communicate core course concepts to students. Reviewing the videos before class allows students to prepare for class activities, which is how we're going to use this recording. You'll watch this video individually, and when we meet at the second convening, you'll participate in a group exercise that will help you learn more about how you can use Google Docs to collaborate with colleagues and to engage your students. At the convening, we'll also be showing you how to work with Google Docs using the Collaborations tool in Canvas. What is Google Docs? It's an online word processor that lets you create and format text documents and collaborate with other people in real time. Before you can access Google Docs, you'll need to register for a Google account. You can do so by going to google.com. Let's do that now. Here I am in my browser. I've selected Firefox for today. I've typed in google.com and I've come to the Google page. If I had an account already set up, I could click on this sign in button and go straight where I need to go. For today, to set up your Gmail account, I'm going to go ahead and have you click on Gmail and we'll click on this button, create an account. And you'll just fill in the information that it asks for, your name, create yourself a Gmail address, fill in a password, and at the bottom you'll just click to the next step and follow the screens as they walk you through the rest of the account creation process. My account is already set up so I can just go ahead and sign in. And I'm going to do that now. Alright, so I'm signing in. So here's my Gmail account or my Google account. And from here, I'd like to go to my Google Drive. The drive is where all of your documents will be stored. It kind of looks like the file manager on your computer. If you want to create a new document, you can click on the Create button. And from here, you can choose if you want to make a new folder, a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, or even a drawing. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on a document, and it's going to take me to a blank document template that kind of looks like a blank Word document. The first thing I'm going to do is hover over File and click on it and I'm going to rename my document so that we can tell what it is and I'm going to call this Project Idea Demo and I'm going to say OK. So now you can see that my name has changed up here and as I type, all my changes are going to be saved in this drive. So I'm going to go ahead and type here. This is a document for project idea. We can share information using Google Docs. Okay, let's check my spelling. Uh, looks like my typing's not that great today. Okay, so I'll correct that. Okay, so now that I've typed in some words and you can see those, let's look at some of the other things that we can do. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this like we would in a regular Word document. I'm going to make it bold. I'm also going to come over here and make this a lot bigger so that we can see it easier. And I'll pick a different color just for fun. Okay, there we are. This is a document for project idea. We can share information using Google Docs in blue. Alright, so we can also do some other regular word processing things like we can center or right or left justify depending on what you need. Your document spacing is here. You also have some numbering and some bulleting that you can play with. And there's a print button. There's an undo and a redo button and you can also paint your format. Let's investigate some of the tools up here. So on file, this is the one where we renamed our document, but we can create a new document from here. We can open an existing document. We can make a copy and um, we can do a print preview. We can print. On edit, we have our undo and redo buttons again. We can copy and paste. From view, you can change how you're going to see your document, whether you want to look at it in print layout or with a ruler or look for spelling suggestions. On the Insert tab, you can insert images, links, equations, drawings, and some other things like headers and footers down here toward the bottom. 
on format, you can do some of the same things that we were um, doing just a minute ago with the addition of strike through, superscript, subscript. On tools, you can research and define and do a word count. And this one I think is kind of interesting. It's translate a document. I haven't actually tried this, but you're supposed to be able to translate your document into a different language, and I think that that sounds um, like it would be pretty neat. On table, you can insert a table. And then on help, I just wanted to show you that you can um, click on this docs help here, and it will bring up some articles for you, some different things like an overview of Google Docs, and you can read some more about this if you need some additional information. Okay, so we have our document, we've looked through some of our tools, and again, this is just the basics. We're not gonna go through every single type of document. This is just a basic Word document. Now that we're done with our document, we want to share it with some other people. And I'm gonna go up here to the Share button, and I'm gonna click Share. And from here, I'm gonna decide who I want to share with and what type of privacy I want on this document. So if I want this to be private and only have the people that are listed have access to it, I can keep it that way. Or I can choose a public link, meaning that you can sign in without authentication and anyone can look at that. If you want anyone with the link to be able to see it, um, you would click this. And um, I think with this one, you still need to have a Gmail account. It just doesn't log you in. With the public link, um, when I tested it last night, it seems that I could send um, a link to my regular email address and not be signed in, and it still let me access the document. So that was pretty cool. And then on private, you can check this one and just include the few people that you want to see the document, and then they will be asked to sign in to Google Docs when um, they receive your invitation to join this document. So I'm just going to say for now, anyone with the link, and um, I'll save this. Okay, the next thing we want to do is decide who we're going to send this to. Uh, just for ease here, I'm going to send it to myself so you can kind of see how this works. You'll just pop in the email address of the person that you want to send this to, and notice this is my Gmail account, and I'm going to decide what privileges this person can have. Can they edit the document that I've started, or can they only view it, or can they only make comments? I'm going to say that they can have editing privileges. Okay, when I'm all done selecting what I need to know, I'm going to leave the box checked for notify, notify people by email, and then if I wanted to add a personal message, I could do that. I'm going to go ahead and be done with this as it is for now, and I'm going to say share and save. And then I'm done. And if you look in the lower right corner of my screen, you'll see that a message just popped up from my Gmail account that says an item's been shared with me. And I'm just going to pop over to my Gmail account real quick. I'm going to close this one so that you can see that it will open the document for us. And I'm going to click into my Gmail. Here's the message from me to me inviting me to share a document. And I'll just click this link. This is Project Idea Demo. That's what we named our document. And then it opens the document for me, and I can begin working on it because I have editing privileges. So you could be simultaneously working in this um, with several people at the same time if you had shared uh, the link with um, several colleagues. So this is a pretty cool setup. And it's a great way to share information, and it's a lot easier than going back and forth with emails and um, trying to get everybody's opinion. You can just edit right here and um, get people's thoughts and comments. All right, so that's about it for the basics of setting up a document. Don't worry if you didn't catch all of this the first time. You're going to be getting some hands-on practice next week, and we'll post some additional resources for you to review. And if you have time to look at them and want to know more, you can. And you'll find those support materials either in the Project Idea Communication site or in the Project Idea Canvas training course. Thanks for listening. Bye!